So with Everson, Jerome, Ezekiel, Griffin uh, officially signing with the Dallas Cowboys of Arlington, uh, it, it is now officially a Fadio Denebo season. Ow. Bring it. Uh, I, I love the pride of Northwestern, and I, I'm really excited for him to finally get his opportunity to be a full-time starter. I, I think that he is starter uh, caliber player in this league, uh, and frankly, maybe could develop to something more. I mean, uh, being opposite Daniil Hunter and having him take all the smoke from the offensive line, then all of a sudden, whoo! You were singled up, working from right defensive end. Uh, Andre Patterson done wonders uh, there throughout the years. Love to see it. It's going to be good. Uh, as well as, remember free agency. So after Everson had opted out, you know, may, maybe back, maybe not, you know, said, said that big nice goodbye on Instagram, which, as we know, is legally binding. And then everyone, their mom was like, well, free agency. You got to sign Jadavion Clowney. Sign Clowney. How about Clowney? Do that. I mean, the, the cupboard is bare. You lost Everson Griffin. Steve Weatherly said deuces, went to Carolina. He gone. All right. And, and then the draft. W what pissed me off so much about the draft is that, well, I, I get pissed, but also I, I empathize because I understand being a national media jabroni haircut, uh, looking at the draft from a 30,000 foot view, you have to look at all 32 teams. You can't be down and dirty uh, on every single roster. I understand that. But I mean, just glossing over, well, Everson gone draft edge. So reach in the first round, take AJ Espineza, take yet yet or gross Maddox in the first round because you have to replace Everson print. Nah, get out of here. Cause they don't know about a Fadi Odena bow. That's right. So no big free agent splash. Uh, well, they did sign Anthony Zettel. He solid, uh, absolutely a lunch pail guy, but more utility, probably not a starter. Uh, and then no day one edge. No day two edge. Round four is when they started hitting it. So DJ Wanham, uh, who I think is going to be great, but is more of a project. James Lynch, is he going to play on the edge? Is he going to play inside? TBD. Because the Vikings know. The Vikings absolutely know that Afadi Odenabo, the pride of Northwestern, is ready to go. He's ready to be the man. That's right. And we all know the story. Uh, seventh round pick 2017. Rick loves the seventh round picks. Oh, seventh round picks are worthless. Please. Please. I mean, you uh, the pressure on seventh round picks is, is way off compared to day one, day two guys. And if you hit on one seventh round pick every five years, that's a win. That's a win, dog. That's a win. I mean, so Rick Spielman's giving himself so many opportunities, so many lotto tickets uh, in the late round because, I mean, you know, guys fall for different reasons. Like uh, Afadi fell, even though he was extremely productive at Northwestern in, in the Big Bad Big Ten before they opted out. Uh, but he, he fell in the draft because uh, he didn't check all the boxes, didn't have the size, didn't necessarily have the speed, doesn't have long arms, doesn't all do, do all that. But what about, how, how about, they can't measure a guy's heart. That's right. They can't measure the heart as well as what about just playing? Hmm? What about just playing well? How about that? Like how, how many draft picks have busted because uh, he absolutely looks like he's chiseled like an Adonis uh, and uh, uh, checks all the boxes. He, you know, he's six, five. He's got a wingspan of six foot eight, dude, uh, 260 pounds, still runs a, a four five. Yeah. How, how many of those guys can't play a lick? Just, uh, but it was on the Vikings practice squad, bounced, signed with the Browns, uh, was let go there, and then eventually uh, got some playing time in Arizona and then was cut. Uh, and then the Vikings added him to the practice squad uh, again. And also, here's key. So uh, a couple years ago, he was given the opportunity to actually join the Eagles active roster. But he was like, no, nah, no, I bleed purple. Well, maybe not so much, but he, he saw more of an opportunity here uh, with the Vikings, with Andre Patterson, and yeah, he, he, he was good. And last year, uh, he, he played a, a little bit of utility rotational uh, defensive lineman, kicked inside a bit, was, was a very solid three-tech in passing downs, had himself a mini breakout season, played 403 defensive snaps, 23 tackles, 26 total pressures, and, and seven sacks by far career highs and projecting in the right direction. And also, you know, everyone talks about him kicking inside, but he predominantly played on the edge predominantly at right defensive end subbing in uh, for Everson Griffin he played 279 of his 403 snaps on the outside so he's ready to go so I, I think that's uh, that was the entire plan I, I think Spielman uh, and the personnel department just looked all right well we will take Everson back but only up to this dollar amount Steve Weatherly deuces we'll get a compensatory pick for you well, we're not really in love with the with the edge rushers in round one round two where we're going to draft we're not going to reach for Epinesa or Gross Maddox or even Clavon Chase I ain't going to do that 
Well, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but uh, then they're like, yeah, we got a Fadi. We have a great plan. Now, you'll pick up a couple of uh, uh, prospect guys, uh, a couple of projects. We got Wanham. We got Lynch. We got uh, Kenny Willekes. And we're good. We're absolutely good. So I'm pumped. And frankly, uh, part of me is glad that Everson didn't return because I think it would have impeded to a degree the development of Afadi, even though Afadi would have started and had started reps. But now it's clearly number 95's job. And he's going to do great things with it. He's going to kick some ass. And it's going to be awesome. I mean, uh, mark my words, two years, Afadi, Daniil will be regarded as one of the best edge rushing tandems in the league. Bar none. Bring it. All right, so your thoughts, Afadi, season. Let's get it on. Uh, let us know in the comments section below. Subscribe for Daily Viking Stakes. Want to support that work? Pull some in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.